So I've been enjoying flying a 3-inch Reptile Cloud 149, mainly to carry a GoPro type of camera, but as everybody knows, these things are large, they're loud, and they're kind of heavy, and uh, they damage pretty easily. So I had this idea, of could I build something that could take uh, smaller components, lighter components, still carry the GoPro, and build it out of uh, maybe a 2.5 inch form factor. So I took my Tyro 69 that I show here on the bench here, which it was easy to build. It has pretty inexpensive components. See if I could replace some of the parts and get enough performance to be able to build up a 2.5 inch, uh, call it a uh, quasi cine whoop, uh, and achieve my goal. So I took the Tyro 69 apart, basically to get access to the flight controller and the ESC. The ESC is a 20 amp capable, which is quite good for my needs. I then selected a Turbo B frame, which you can get pretty inexpensively, maybe $25, which is a 2.5 inch form factor. And then I, from that, decided on different components that I would add to the frame. One of the key ones was deciding on a uh, mo uh, the motors, <clears throat> and I decided on 1106 45 hundredths, which are a good medium size and power motor for this class of quad. So here you see the frame being shown with the ESC on the bottom that I wired up the new motors. Here it is assembled on the frame using the same mounting 20 by 20 uh, parts that came with the Tyro 69 and I decided to add a camera which was a Runcam Phoenix 2 to the front end and uh, put the ducks on and get it all buttoned up. Alright after I got it all together here I added the uh, Emacs Avon propellers, a Lumineer dipole antenna and a Mini 5848 VTX. I wanted a VTX that had uh, a changeable power you know 25, 100 milliwatt, 200 milliwatt, which is different than the uh, Tyro 69 had. They only it only had a 25 milliwatt VTX, so I swapped that out as well. So what I ended up with was a series of configurations. Here's showing with 2S uh, 450 pack piggyback on the top, and that uh, it really flies fun. It's a fun inside and outside quad with this 2S configuration. The next configuration was using a Polaroid Act 2 Cube camera, which is a 1080p camera. It's pretty inexpensive. It's less than $30. Very rugged built, so it can take a crash, and it does pretty good footage. We'll show you that in a little bit here. The next is with a uh, another action camera, which is a 4K camera called a Campark V30. What's nice about this camera, it's only about $90, and it uh, has built-in electronic image stabilization as well as gyro stabilization. So you'll get some really nice footage coming out of this camera, almost comparable to what you'll get on a GoPro. And the last of course is carrying the GoPro Hero 8, which uh, I can just hard mount because you don't need to do any uh, soft mounting with this particular camera. And obviously it applies pretty good on uh, with the uh, three cell pack and uh, believe it or not, I was able to get it to fly for a little while just with the 2S back. So I'll now show you some of the footage of the uh, different cameras. And uh, we'll end it up with a chart showing what I ended up with all the weights and the flight times for each of the configurations. <laughs>
Let us get this, let's 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 get this